Welcome, welcome to my back to my the, this new video I'm doing. I know y'all guys miss me. I miss all y'all. My if I don't really have that much fans, but I miss some some of y'all. So how everybody's doing? Like today, I'm having a great day. But this is what I don't like about the project. Let me tell you why I hate. Sometimes I hate about this project. They they can be so backwards. One thing they do, it can be really cold outside, right? And they don't put the heat on. I don't know, like, they wait to, to like, so, like, I would say maybe like 25 degrees, or it doesn't matter what degrees it is in, um, in, um, outside, they don't want to put the heat on. So, I don't know why they don't, they, when well, summertime, they put the, they don't put the, they, they bang the heat, but when it's cold, they don't want to put the heat. Like who who does that? Like I'm thinking like if you know you got like over you got like over what I would say um about like five hundred people. Now I would say it's just like I estimate like like fifteen hundred people tenants in in the apartment. Why don't we give them these got these people heat? We pay you all this money for rent and you don't want to get us no heat. I don't know why y'all do that. Because it don't make no sense. This is why I see a why a lot of people moving out, out of the, out of the housing. Because housing don't never do what they supposed to. They always do that slob jobs. Some of them do slob jobs. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say all because all don't make no sense for me to say that. I would say some do, and some don't. Like you got this, this housing lady. She just really pissing me off. And then sometimes I don't say nothing to her because sometimes, like, she just does. She just horrible. She. She does sweep floor like her, the trash and put it by my friend's door. You don't do that. And then I, and, and what? If she saw her. She did that. She probably cuss her out, right? And that, that was me. I would cuss her ass out. And I'm like, yo, why you do? Why you would do that? And I, you make you just bring more rats and mice in her park and into her apartment. You know that she, her kids and she got kids and stuff. Her kids don't like to be seeing see, like no rats or mice in her apartment inside her apartment. If you know, if you like, this is why I don't like when people have jobs, right? Don't complain saying, "Oh, I don't like this and that, this and that." If you didn't like it, then you should never apply it. Then that's because that's going for no on you. That's not for no on the job. You should be like, always apply something that you, what you like, and what you like it, that's what you should stay with, stay with it. Like me, I've been in my job for almost like going to close, like if I live in the city seven years, that I will be happy. Cause my other job, I used to work there almost ten, almost close, almost close to ten years. That's a long time for somebody, for me being there for that being, for me being there for that long. I didn't know I was gonna be that, stay there that long because I was like, oh wow, I, I'm shocked and stuff. Cause I said I'm just doing this for for my own benefit and stuff. Cause who knows, when I be 67 years old, if I live to see 67 years, 67 or 70 or 80 years old, I could say. That I had these jobs that, like years ago, and then, and uh, I will tell y'all people sometimes y'all should never quit in the, on a job because when you quit on a job, you don't you know that that your ben that that don't increase your benefits. It's a, if you stay there just give them a years, a couple years or so, that's where that's where you get more money comes in and it's giving more interest in on your on your on your benefits. I see a whole bunch of people quitting, 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 and I was like, yo, when you quit your job. Then, then that's how, how crazy. If it did, I mean, I mean, I guess okay, I can understand some of y'all say okay, this job is not paying enough that much and stuff. But hey, sometimes you got you got to stick with it. You got to stick with it and stuff. Cause you know, it's hard. Let me tell you something, guys. It's hard to find jobs around because it's, back in '04, it used to be easy. 2004, it used to be easy. Like me, I used to work at the airport. It used to be really easy. I used to love the airport. Only like, I, to, I never really had too much problem with the airport. It just like, it was easy. But now, but now, you talking about now, it's hard. Everything is like computerized. You gotta do, they want you to fill, if you want a job, you gotta do it online. This online process, do all that. You gotta fax your resume. You gotta, you gotta do a whole bunch of stuff on it. They make see they making things difficult. Who knows? In another five years, they 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 about to tell you you got told you got talked to to the robot. Who knows? I don't know. Right. And 
because they because they're people like this. It's like they make things. Every generation is get it gets more harder and harder. Now they make like the criminal for schools. They do it in in, in schools. It gets harder too. Also, so they make it kids like they make kids like they stress and they, they kids stress out too. You think parents stress out? Teacher, everybody. It's like every, this whole world is stress is stressed out. And like I'm not. I mean I could be stressed out too, but. Well, I'm trying to calm c- c- um, calm myself down because I don't like to be be such and such and stuff. Like people, like 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 when I do my job, I just do my job. I just like you know what? I don't care what. I don't. In the day, I'm just like you know what? Okay, yes, go and yes and go, yes and go. I just do what I got to. So I try to keep it simple. I don't want to. I'm not talking about what job I'm working at because it's not in their business and stuff. Because I don't want care. I mean, because it's, it's, I'm just happy with what I'm doing and stuff. And that's it. Because I, like ha- I like to be happy. I want to be happy. That's what I try to be. You know? Like, I just got up. Like, today, I just got up. Do I got to do what I got to do. I want to try to do what I could do. And then, and then make my money and, be, and zoom out. And, you know? And Halloween, I don't care. I don't celebrate Halloween. I don't really care about Halloween too much because Halloween is nothing but a bunch of candies and I don't like all that that sweet stuff in my mouth and stuff, you know, because that stuff, all that sugar and stuff is not good for a lot of, for a lot of kids. That's what you make, you making kids hot, hype, more hyper with that. I don't like it. And, oh, one thing I don't, and I can say one, and also, Thanksgiving. Now, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is, is always, Thanksgiving always gonna be my favorite I don't care about too much ham because people ask me yes I like ham but I just don't like what they put when they put pineapple on, on ham that means I don't I don't I don't like ham because I don't like pineapples I don't like coconut all that stuff break, it breaks me out and peanut and peanuts too anything where it got peanuts in it I will not eat it he asked me why and like you're a young guy you you're supposed to eat it. I said I look at them like excuse you I don't eat. I said y'all eat that you like it just like Chinese food. I don't eat Chinese food at all because Chinese food they piss people off. You paying this is what I do, what I get mad with, with Chinese food. They give you four pieces of shrimps, right? And they give you like almost a half a pound drug rice. Yes, I said drug rice. Drug rice, right? And then you paying like almost like freaking almost like what? I think like eight almost nine dollars for a shrimp. Why do that? You could tell that paying that doing that you could buy your own shrimps you could make your own do your own rice and you could have your own your own chinese food rice and stuff i know most people don't like rice i know and i know that and me i try to be i i ain't know rice could be such and such but then chinese food rice there's not real rice so they gonna tell you they're not even gonna tell matter of fact they ain't even gonna tell you what you what you just ate because they're gonna they gonna just as soon as you leave they're gonna say they probably laughing or they probably like saying Oh, you know this person with this person just ate. This person ate dogs, dog, dogs and cats, and, and then you think that oh, you think that that that's ribs, that's cat, that's you, everybody should know that that's cats and stuff. And it, and that beef and stuff, that's dogs meat. They all they did, what they did is right. They they take that, they, they cut the dog head off or whatever they did, and they and they use like they got that special grinder, and then they grind the 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 meat, they meat and stuff, and make the Make it look like it's beef, like beef or pork and stuff. Who they fooling? They ain't fooling nobody. They, ain't, they don't like that. That's we. Everybody should know that. You know what I mean? Like I don't. That's why I look at because one time just a like, couple weeks ago, I saw a, a big rat by the Chinese restaurant, and they cut the head off, and then the man put it on on a Chinese walk, and he cooked that, and he actually ate it. I'm like, so I said, oh my gosh, I said. I'm like that is so gross. I know I won't eat. That's why I look at. I said oh, I'm not eating it. I'm not eating nothing. No, no. That's why I said nope, 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 nope. Not eating no Chinese food because they it's not even because and I now realize and I told most of the people I said that's not real Chinese food and they said what you mean I said that's not real Chinese food because a real Chinese food they don't cook that. now you go to a real Chinese if you want a real Chinese food you go to Chinatown you think they gonna cook that because they only. It, this is what what they do in Chinese the, the real Chinese food they cook 
they cook that um they cook that that Beijing ducks. They cook ducks. They cook um that, um what you call that thing? Noodles, roman, whatever. Well, I don't care what they cook. Whatever they cook, whatever they call it. They cook that, and then if you watch the YouTube, if you see this on YouTube, you will see the difference. Like, cause I told, cause one one of my friends, even though he's Chinese, but he told me about a lot of things. He don't eat his own Chinese food. He he said that 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 giant food store that he's selling in New, in New York is not even real because they that when you go to real China, he said that they, in China they're not gonna cook that. They're not gonna cook that. They just give you what's left um what's level now. I think that as he said that I think the only thing that might be real is the um I think he said I don't know if it's the egg roll or what. But I don't really I tell him I tell him I don't know I said I don't really care, so I don't really care about it. Man, like I said, I said the trans food like I, I always saw people I said trans food is not is not it's not it lost my respect for Chinese food. I mean don't get me wrong, I used, I used to eat it for myself, but I thought it was really good back in the days when I was little. But as you get caught on catch on, it don't taste right. You know what I mean? And I like so I told my friend I told my one of my friends that that Chinese food is not it's not good to eat and stuff. So I told him just stay away from it and you never know when 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 it's gonna come, you know? It's like this like like Trump. Like Donald Trump is like he they told me now he's talking about he's he's what I think he's positive and negative or what he is. What he is, I don't know what's wrong with it. Cause he he now see he got it now see, see this is what happens you shouldn't put your foot in your mouth and say what you talk about all these American people with this and that and the dirt now you see now now you got to see I believe in calm, karma and you know karma is going straight regardless you don't you don't know when or where or when it's gonna come in to you so he got what he got his own medicine so he should never say that what he said and tell him this and that and the dirt but this is why I don't understand why. All these people, if you know everything that's going on in your, your uh, United States, you should always rem, rem, always remind people, remind people, like let people know, like don't wait till don't hold things, hold the grudges, like, and say, oh, oh, now this is news breaking, such and such and such, blah 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 blah. blah. But if I was the president, trust me, if I was the president of the United States, and somebody tell me, oh, you getting an attack, I will let people, I will let the on on that podium. And make a, a big announcement information and say, guys, we under the attack. Please be be prepared. with such and such because you never know when we're gonna have such and such. We don't know when. But these some of these presidents, like look at this George um George Bush, George Bush. What happened in September 11? He knows about it, but he didn't tell. He didn't tell nobody. He didn't tell nobody. We didn't know that and say if, if we didn't know what happened now never. Just like now the now the coronavirus. Trump knows everything about it. He just didn't. He did. Oh, that's why it's not good. To, I don't understand why people like Republicans because Republicans is not. Was, I mean, they said Democrats too, but then, but but it's most like Republicans too. Because Republicans don't do they. They know everything, but they just not gonna tell. They not gonna tell, tell nobody. They just want to keep money in their pockets. They said, shh, shh, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Let's just let's such and such. So I don't you know what I mean. But this is your boy, um, Seven King Eighty Three. And um, I just tried my best to do a nice, uh, maybe I might do something. I, I don't know what video I'm going to do next. So just hit me up if you need, if you know what, what topics you want me to say. And I'll try to say something of what I want to say. So peace out.